A flat bow is a bow with non-recurved flat, a relatively wide limbs that are approximately rectangular in cross-section. Because the limbs are relatively wide, flat bows will usually narrow and become deeper at the handle, with a rounded, non-bending handle for easier grip. This design differs from that of a long bow, which has rounded limbs that are circular or D-shaped in cross-section, and is usually widest at the handle. A flat bow can be just as long as a long bow, but can be very short. Traditional flat bows are usually wooden self-bows, though laminated and composite flat bows have been made in ancient and modern times. Modern flat bows commonly use fiberglass. Advantages of a rectangular cross-section the flat bow is a superior bow design for almost all materials because the stress is more evenly spread out than with rounded limb sections. A bow limb is essentially a flexed beam undergoing bending, and in any flexed beam the farther from the neutral axis the more stress there is within the material. When a limb is rounded, as in a long bow, some material sticks out farther from the neutral axis, and thus is put under greater stress. In a flat bow, the flat belly and back ensure that all of the most strained material is a uniform distance from the neutral axis, spreading the load over a wider limb, minimizing stress and making weaker woods far less likely to fail. Only particularly resilient timbers can make an effective and powerful wooden longbow. Suitable timbers In most parts of the world, common hardwoods may be used to create excellent bows. Suitable and easily available timbers include elm, maple, sycamore, hazel, and ash. The flat bow design also lends itself to very dense, high-strength woods such as hickory and especially osage orange. Good quality yew wood is still much more expensive and difficult to find than wood suitable for flat bows, and beginning bowyers are strongly recommended to start with a flat bow made from easily available wood. Because you, the wood of choice for European longbows, is light, resilient, and has exceptional compressive strength. The rounded design can be used to produce a smooth shooting, efficient, powerful bow. This is economical of wood and of the bowyer's time. Disadvantages of a rectangular cross-section Compared to a narrow, rounded long bow design, the bowyer needs to start with a wider stave, take more time to achieve an approximately rectangular cross-section, and may need to cut through growth rings on the back of the bow. Historic use Flat bows were used by Native American tribes such as the Herpa, Carrick, and Wampanoag, prehistoric ancient Europeans, some Inuit tribes. Finno Ugric nations and a number of other pre gunpowder societies for hunting and warfare because, unlike longbows, good flat bows can be made from a wide variety of timbers. Flat bows fell from favor in Europe after the Mesolithic, replaced with yew longbows. The trade of yew wood for English longbows was such that it depleted the stocks of yew over a huge area. Flat bows are currently used by the Paleolithic Sentinelese tribes of the Andaman Islands. Flat bows survived in cold areas, such as Finland, where yew does not grow naturally because of the unsuitable climate. The traditional Finnish flat bow is made either from ash, or as birch, pine laminate glued together with fish or hide glue. Yew was available as an imported material for bows in Finland, but it was considered not suitable for serious use because it is fragile at cold temperatures and the season for hunting for furs is in January and February, when the furs are at their best. American Flatbow The American Flatbow, also known as the American Longbow, was developed in the 1930s. It resulted from scientific investigation into the best cross-sectional shape for a bow limb. This research was expected to explain why the English longbow's D-section was superior to all other extant designs. Instead, it showed that the best cross-section was a simple rectangle. The American flatbow was developed by applying these research findings to the English longbow. The result was a more efficient and stable bow which can be made from more common woods.
Because of its coincidental resemblance to some Native American bows, the American flatbow is also known as the semi-Indian bow. The American flatbow was popularized by Howard Hill and quickly displaced the English longbow as the preferred bow for target shooting. The modern Olympic-style recurve bow is a development of the American flat bow, usually using fiberglass rather than wood for the backing in belly of the recurved limbs, artificial materials such as carbon for the core, and with a built-up riser section. The tips are flexible rather than static.